we are back at Sidebar with our first interview of the day with Mastan Lalani. He is the Global Director of Environmental Policy for Tetra Pak. Mastan, thank you for, for joining us. Thank you for um, so I don't, I mean, I know the Tetra Pak name. I don't know if everyone does. It's 1950s, it's been around since the 1950s, Swedish company. First uh, food packaging company to set a science-based target. So what should sustainability teams know about your commitments to, the, to climate action and, um, and how, how that will play into to potential partnerships with them? It's a good question. Um, when it comes to sustainability, Tetra Pak is no stranger. We've been working at this for since, the, since really the start. Our founder, Ruben Rousing, coined the phrase, a package should save more than it costs. And that's really been guiding our ambition and our work towards a low carbon circular economy. It really starts with that basic of a package that saves more than it costs. So I want to go to one term you just used before, before I talk to you a little bit about a, a favorite topic of mine, which is collaboration. Low carbon circular economy. Explain. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I, I, it's that's a, a term I haven't really heard that much. It's a, it's a good point. You know, we, um, in today's world, we can no longer continue to talk about climate uh, and circular, circular economy in isolation. We must combine the topic together. And for this, we need to close the circular economy. And in order for this, we need to not only just think about recycling and reuse, but also to look at what materials we're using while we make and produce certain things, including packaging. Um, and of course, these materials have a high uh, amount of carbon emissions as well. Um, a recent study done by the International Energy and Agency suggests that the, 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 the carbon emissions from extracting and making um, packaging are greater than the emissions from global aviation and shipping combined. Hmm. And this was in 2015. Yeah. And so the number is continuing to rise quite substantially. And if you look at what the OECD says, that almost 23% of global emissions account from materials. Um, that is enough to use up all of the carbon budget we have left available to us as we look to 2030. So materials and packaging have a huge amount of carbon impact, and we can't just rely on recycling to solve the climate uh, emergency. It's just not going to work. So how do you collaborate with other companies that are trying to meet their own climate goals? Like, what, what does a relationship like look like? You know, it's, it's quite interesting, and I think the word uh, I'd like to say is we have some very strange bedfellows. <laughs> Um, we've had to uh, collaborate with our competitors because this, in our view and our competitors' view, is that this is a pre-competitive space. If we are really going to have that step change approach, reach the scale uh, and the, the size we need and at the speed we need, we have to work together. There's just no way that we're going to do it out otherwise. Um, we've also had to look outside of the box with, um, from our traditional partners to find new ones um, and to find partners that traditionally we may not have worked at, like the waste management industry, for example, mm -hmm. when it comes to securing yeah. collection and recycling for beverage cartons or for, um, for sourcing our paperboard. Um, Tetra Pak is one of the largest purchasers of paperboard because our, per our cartons are primarily made out of paper. Um, and so we have a responsibility to make sure that the forests are managed in an economically, um, environmental and sustainable way. Um, and in order for us to do this, um, we, all of, the, all of the, um, the paper in our packages comes from Forest Stewardship Council certified um, uh, um, sources or other control sources as well. And this took a lot of collaboration involving not only our competitors but our suppliers um, and also downstream users as well. And that was the only way we could do this and it was hard work right from the start. Can you talk about one of the strange bedfellows? <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the waste management industry. Okay. We have a, a global partnership with, uh, with Veolia, which is one okay. of, the, one of the, 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 the leading global waste management companies in the world based in France. Um, and we're working with them right now on a number of projects to, to advance um, uh, recycling for the aluminium and the plastic parts of our, of our package today. Aluminium. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm based in Brussels now. I'm Canadian normally, um, but uh, being, being in Brussels has changed mm -hmm. me quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I have a question around, you're talking about how much needs to be happening at the fundamental level. Yeah. Are you involved at all or do you think businesses should be involved in that sort of pre-competitive landscape and talking about policies to make sure that we're not depleting resources faster than we're using them? 
Uh, absolutely. I think that's the must. Um, uh, po policy, you know, it's, it's interesting. I, I'm, tomorrow I'm speaking on a, on, on a panel about pre-competitive collaboration, just about this Ladies topic. Ladies and gentlemen, and, please and I think take the, your seats. The, the interesting Show there is, is legislation, policy was always about maintaining a level playing field, right? Providing that pre-competitive space. And I think that's changing. Legislation now is about promoting competition in some way. And so if we are going to be really um, adhering to this and working in that space, we need to collaborate in such a way so that we can find that area of where we can compete on a pre-competitive basis and collaborate. One final tip for the, the people that would think like to collaborate but can't or haven't gotten there yet? You know, th um, just a quick, succinct answer. Yeah, uh, think outside the box. Okay. Uh, I, I think that's that's the best thing, and, and uh, don't be afraid to find some strange bedfellows. Okay, all right. Well, thank you, Mustang, so for much. joining <laughs> us here at the sidebar. Uh, and now we are ready to go to the main stage for Green Biz 20 to start. Woo!